welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Danica and I'm the Fit Mom Lifestyle on Instagram, LTK, and TikTok. And today I'm here with the first part of my Nordstrom Anniversary Sale try on. So I actually did do a video recently where I shared some of the accessories that I got beauty, kids, men's, things like that. So I have had that video go up if you're interested I'll have it linked in the cards and below and then I also did a shop with me on the day that the sale started so I will have that included as well and I did a preview video um, where I kind of talked about what I was buying and what I wasn't buying so I have majority of my clothes in now um, so I'm gonna do probably a part one and a part two of my try on haul but I do still have some stragglers coming in so I'm thinking probably towards the end of the sale I'll probably do one more final recap video if you are interested in it let me know down below if that sounds like a good idea to you I don't want to you know create the video if you guys are already over it but I do want to share what I got and like I said I do have quite a bit of clothing so I will break it up into two parts so stay tuned for part two and then like I said let me know if you want that third kind of like final wrap-up video before the end but I'd love to know down below if you're loving the sale what you got um, what your favorite types of categories are so in today's video I've got some PJs some dresses some workwear some casual wear a little bit of everything and um, I kind of like to shop for mostly like workwear and loungewear in the sale because I'm either like working from home or going into the office and so I really like to have you know a little bit of those new items and refresh that kind of every year so very excited about the pieces that I grabbed if you love the Nordstrom anniversary sale make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you love hauls make sure to hit the subscribe button I do lots of hauls on my channel also some vlogs fitness nutrition all those good things so make sure you stick around I'd love to have you and let's get into the clothes okay so we're gonna start off with outfit number one and I did want to mention I'm gonna have the number for each of these outfits listed in the corner and I will have everything linked down below within that kind of like outfit category so it's easy for you to shop so I'm also not repeating anything from my previous try on video in store so check out that video totally different products and let's get started so First of all, I have this Beyond Yoga dress, and I really like this. This is in the pink color. I also have a Notori bra underneath. This one's not from this year's sale. I got this actually last year, and I just didn't need another one. So I will link the Notori bra. I love that. Um, I did kind of have to, like, tuck it because this sweater, I mean, sorry, this um, dress is shaped a little bit, you know, differently. So I probably would wear a different bra, but that's just kind of what I had. So... Anyway, um, I got this dress. This is from Beyond Yoga. It's in a pink color. I don't have any shapewear on with it right now. I could definitely do some shapewear, um, but I personally think it's very comfortable and I think it's fine. Um, this dress did come in a brown color as well, which I think would actually pair really well with this kind of like outfit, um, but I already have a dress in that kind of similar like mushroomy kind of brown, so I didn't need that one, but I did really want to try this one so this is size medium I think it's really cute I love the slit I wanted to show you kind of how you could dress it up for maybe a more casual work environment so over top I have this barefoot dreams cardigan I got this one in a size large I could definitely do a medium but I just like my things a little bit more kind of like oversized and especially cardigans you know so anyway that's what I have on top and then I've got these Steve Madden mules I love the Steve Madden mules every year these are like a kind of wardrobe staple for me I actually bought them last year in the same tan color and I've worn them so much that I think I need to replace them because they're kind of starting to look a little like dirty and I just decided to pick up the new ones this year so anyway that's what I have on with these um I actually am going to a dinner tomorrow night and I'm planning to wear this dress kind of like as is I'm trying to show you show you the silhouette without like losing everything but anyway I'm gonna wear this dress kind of on its own probably with sneakers for um, a casual dinner tomorrow night so I love that you can kind of style this now in the summer or you know dress it up a little bit more for the fall 
All right, so for outfit number two, I actually grabbed both of these pieces in different colors in my try-on haul in my previous video, but this is the Free People sweater. I sized up to a large because I wanted it more oversized. I could definitely do a medium, but honestly, I just really kind of like it a little bit baggier, and I feel like I could tuck it into this skirt. I could tuck it into a bra, um, but I just kind of like the oversized look. So I really thought this pink color was so cute and so fun, and I always grab like neutrals and black during I mean obviously black is a neutral but lots of neutrals including black during the fall and winter and I kind of just liked this pop of pink I thought it was so pretty and so fun kind of on like a gloomier day so really really love this and then on bottom I have the free people skirt that I also got in that try on now I will say this skirt is pretty short so just beware if you don't like short skirts I would stay away from it I will wear my Lululemon Align biker shorts in my four the four inch length underneath this just for extra coverage but I think it is so cute I really love this skirt so much I love I love a short skirt so I think it's really cute and fun but definitely not a lot of coverage so you will want to probably wear something on under and then for shoes I have these Steve Madden shoes that I thought could be kind of cool for like casual wear or to dress up for the office I thought they would look good like under some trousers so I really do like them and pleasantly surprised I think these are still pretty well stocked so um love those and just like such a pleasant surprise so this is outfit two all right we're gonna move into a couple of dresses now this dress is from good American this is in a size two which I believe is their medium and I love this dress I grabbed a very similar one in last year's sale and I just love the like ruching I love how kind of tight it is but still so comfortable it's so flattering I don't know if you can see there it kind of like ruches a little to the side it's I can't like totally pull it out it just kind of like do you see that detail there it kind of like um, pulls the fabric so anyway I write really like how it does that I think it's very flattering and comfortable it is a pretty deep V so I kind of had to adjust my bra but I do think this is just so cute comfortable can be styled so many different ways it's such a good like base layer and I feel so good in it um you can never go wrong with black either so just really good basic and then with these I have these Mark Fisher booties Mark Fisher is one of my favorite shoe brands I love them so much so I got these in the black leather I'm debating if I want to keep the black leather or get the um suede but I think these are such a beautiful silhouette they're so comfortable I size up a half a size because they do have the really pointy toe here so I get an eight and a half um, and I just think this is so cute so easy you could throw anything over top actually let me throw the Nordstrom poncho over top just to give you a quick idea okay so sticking with the same outfit for everything I just wanted to throw the poncho over top so here's what this looks like it is pretty big and oversized but it is really cute and it is cashmere so it's a really nice fabric and again this is just kind of like an idea of what you could do with this dress where you just throw something over top whether it's you know this poncho a blazer a cardigan a moto jacket um, there's just so many cute things you could do with a dress like this so um, also you if you're pregnant you've got plenty of room here and you do have quite a bit of room in the dress so good maternity dress I think that the black dresses for those um, like maternity photos the silhouette photos always look so beautiful so this would be like such a great dress for that but anyway yeah this is the um, cashmere poncho from Nordstrom as well and um, really really nice I just I don't know how much I'm gonna wear this so we'll see I just think it is so pretty and I love the idea of it I just don't know if I'm gonna like throw it on enough if I'm gonna get enough wear out of this to make it worthwhile but I still think it's really cute and I love it over this dress all right so for this next outfit we have this French connection dress I love this wine color this is one of my favorite colors for fall this is in a size medium this one came in a few different colors too I think it came in like an ivory and a black as well I did want to point out though you have to wear a different kind of bra because um, you can really see it I was kind of trying to adjust it a little bit but it can still it's still kind of poking out there so again this is in a size medium it is like a sweater dress so um, a little bit thicker not itchy in my opinion it doesn't want to focus on the dress um, 
but really comfortable, uh, really like figure flattering. Again, I don't have any Spanx or anything on under. I love this slit on the side. I'm sticking with the same few pairs of shoes for today's haul just to keep it um, easier. So I will um, just kind of have these listed on the first outfit that I tried them on with but I love these booties so much and if you would be interested in seeing a shoe haul let me know um, because I did get like a handful of shoes that I could share separately so anyway I really love this dress I think it's so beautiful for like holiday parties you know if you dress up more for like Thanksgiving or something it's really cute really comfortable really stretchy um, and again I'm wearing a medium I usually do like either a medium or a large kind of depending on how things fit in this is perfect in this size so really really love this dress okay switching it up a bit to something you can wear now how cute is this dress I used to have a dress like similar to this that I wore all the time in high school and this is like taking me back I think this is so pretty I love this pattern I love the length I love the fit I think I got this in a size large just kind of knowing that this was more um, I think it's more of like a junior line I think this one is billabong so I got this in a large it fits really really great I think it is so cute and comfy I paired it with the Steve Madden sneakers and I think this look is so cute I love it it's hard to show you guys because I don't have a big enough space here but I think this is so cute um, and I'm gonna show you one quick way that you could switch this up and style it a little bit more for fall okay so I basically took the same dress I threw over this other barefoot dreams cardigan again I got this in a large this one is in a different color from the last one that I showed you I really love these barefoot dreams cardigans I usually wear them more kind of like lounging or running errands but I do really like how they pair with some of these dresses so I just wanted to show you kind of over top you could also throw this over on like a cold summer night if you're like by the beach or something and then again I just threw on the Steve Madden mules so just kind of a way to make it a little bit dressier you know a little bit maybe a different vibe um, you could I I personally could wear this to church whereas I wouldn't necessarily the dress on its own to church because it is kind of short but with the length of the cardigan um, I just feel like it's a little more conservative and I can kind of do more with it so just kind of wanted to show you another way I would wear it um, if it were a little bit cooler or if I wanted a little bit more coverage you could also throw on like a white um, denim jacket I think that would be really cute as well so anyway I really love this dress all right, this next outfit is more of a business casual vibe I thought this would be really cute if you're in a more casual office space so on top I have this halogen long sleeve I got this in a medium and a large this one is the large It is a little bit oversized I think I could have done the medium um, but anyway that's what I've got on now and then I've got on these made well pants um, I really like these I wasn't sure uh, when I saw them online if I was gonna like the fabric it's got this like texture to it I don't know if you can see that there um, the camera is just not wanting to focus but it definitely does have a texture to it and I just thought like I said with the um, with the sneakers I thought this was kind of like a cool outfit they are a little well if I pull up my sneakers just I mean if I pull up my pants just a little bit they kind of like kiss the ground so um, I might need to hem them just a little bit but Anyway, I kind of thought this was really cute. I like these pants. They're super comfortable. They've got the elastic in the back, which makes them really great if you sit for long periods of time. And I was just kind of looking for a more like effortless, casual office look. And I think that this is definitely a good one. Um, I did want to mention, I know I'm saying that I love everything, but I did get a ton of stuff. I went through it all and tried it all on and these are the things that I liked enough to keep and share with you all so I did get rid of a ton of stuff that either just didn't fit or like I absolutely thought it looked completely different than in person than it did online so that's what I'm saying I'm loving all these things because I've already kind of gotten rid of a lot of stuff that I don't like so anyway this is the next outfit all right, getting into a couple of cozy outfits. I did get this Barefoot Dreams lounge set and I actually got it in two colors in two different sizes. So this one is in the, in the medium in the driftwood color and I like the way that the medium 
fits if I were to wear it kind of like out of the house. Now I wouldn't wear this like out and about but if I were maybe kind of going over to my parents house sometimes we'll go over there and like watch a movie or hang out or you know what I mean like something like that where I'm leaving the house and I want to be comfy basically in pajamas but like not in pajamas. So I feel like this is a little bit more fitted and a little bit more tailored to where I would wear it out. I also think that I could wear this sweater with some jeans and booties and kind of like tuck it in because the medium is a little bit more fitted. I did want to mention though the arms are a little, I, I wouldn't say short, but if you have arms any longer than mine, they might be too short. So again, I'm 5'5 five five and I feel like it fits just right in the medium. Um, but again, I could take this piece and style it with jeans or leggings or something like that. And then I could also take these pants and put like a really nice long sleeve and some sneakers or something so I like the medium because I feel like it's versatile and a little bit more tailored to where I can break up the pieces I can wear them out um, and they just fit a little bit better so this is the medium and then um, I've got my UGG slippers on I had to size up one in these to a nine because the eight I was kind of like slipping out the back so I do really like these but if you get them I recommend sizing up and let me try on the Barefoot Dreams in the size large so you can kind of see a size comparison. All right, so here is the size large for size comparison. So you can see the sleeve length is a little bit better. I like where this one hits me definitely more. I could certainly still wear this um, top with maybe some jeans tucked in and booties or something like that. I feel like this is not too oversized in the top to where I wouldn't wear it out. But I do kind of feel like these pants are a little bit too big where I wouldn't really want to wear them out of the house. Um, they're just a little bit looser, but still really super comfy. I mean, I think I prefer this size large for just like lounging around the house and being super cozy. I also love this color. I think it just looks so elegant, beautiful, effortless, chic, all the good things. Um, and I did see that they restocked this a couple of times. So I know it sold out fast, but keep your eye on the site because I did see this, you know, keep coming back in stock. But I think if you want to break up the pieces and wear them out and like kind of style them for every day, either go with your true size or size down. And then if you want to just be super cozy and comfy, size up or, you know, um, if you're between sizes, definitely go with your bigger size. So I really like both sizes um, for different reasons. So I just think this is so beautiful. I feel like I feel so elegant and I'm in the most comfy PJs. So love, love, probably one of my favorite um, outfits from the sale. Okay, now these pair of PJs have been some of my favorite for years. These are the Moonlight Pajamas. I size up to a large, okay? So I know that these look pretty big, but I don't ever want my PJs to be tight. Um, I don't like that. I would rather be swimming in my PJs than be constricted. So also, I would rather have a large top and a medium bottom, but that's one of the downsides is you buy them as a set. So like I have broader shoulders and I'm bigger on top, so I would prefer a large in the top. So I just deal with a large in the bottom. So it is definitely big, but um, I still like them. You can kind of see here, like I have to tighten them for sure because they don't totally stay up so I just tie them tighter to make them stay up but honestly they're PJs and I think they're so cozy also what I do like to do is I will buy the shorts version as well in the same color and like mix and match so I'll do the long sleeve with the shorts or the pants with the short sleeve or whatever. Um, so that's kind of one thing that I like to do. I also recommend these for anybody who is maybe having a baby or anything like that. I actually bought a couple of these to give as gifts to some of my friends who are um, going to be you know, delivering their baby and hopefully can wear them in the hospital. I think they're so cute, so comfy. I also always wear these. Um, I often like sleep in my self tan and I'll wear these. I have these also in black right now. So again, I've had these over the years. I love these and it was just kind of time for a new blue pair because my other blue pair was kind of getting worn out. So um, I could do a medium or a large. I have some mediums and some larges. These just happen to be a large, but again, kind of the same thing. Depends on how you want your PJ to fit go to true to size if you like them um, a little bit more fitted and size up if you want to be like super cozy in them
Okay, last pair of PJs and last outfit for today's haul. These silk PJs are so elegant and I love them. Again, I was thinking these would be great for self tan nights as well when I need to be fully covered before I get into bed. Um, I got these in a large again. I think I definitely would need a large in these for my shoulders. Like I said, I have broad shoulders and I just don't like things too tight or constricting so again same kind of issue the bottoms are definitely big on me um, but this is just kind of what you have to deal with when your top and bottom are different sizes so I'd rather go with the large and have them super comfy on top and then just a little bit bigger on the bottom so I do think these are really really pretty I did want to mention I did try the shorts version on and I just didn't like those as much I didn't really like the top I like the shorts just fine but I didn't really like the top. I wish they had just done like a short sleeve with buttons. It's almost like a three quarter length sleeve and there's no buttons. I just didn't really like that one as much. So I just want to mention um, if you're like going between, I recommend this one. I just like this one better. I think it's really, really pretty and so comfy and just you feel so like mm, so luxurious. I really love it. So that is the last outfit. All right, so that is it for the first part of my Nordstrom anniversary sale try on. Make sure you stay tuned for part two. And again, let me know if you want to see that final recap part three um, towards the end of the sale. I'd love to know if you're interested in that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you in my next video.